You can build armor by gluing blocks to your body, but you can make that armor any size you want. So in theory, you can become basically anything. And today we will test the limits of that because we're going to become the mammoth fruit from blocks fruits. Now, of course, currently I am shaped nothing like the mammoth fruit. So we'd have a couple of problems, but this character right here looks a little more like it. I mean, at least they're walking in all fours. But sadly, this character right here is actually quite small. And that is exactly why we grabbed the tallest legs in all of Roblox, which are these like these ones right here. <laughs> they actually kind of look like the mammoth fruit already. And dude, these things are huge. And I mean, especially when you grab yourself a large candy, this candy right here just simply makes you grow. Dude, right now, I am literally a giant. Now, sadly, these are actually paid legs, but you can also use these right here. The City Life Woman, which is just a little bit smaller. Now, I've gone ahead and prepared this thing right here. Now, you might look at this and think to yourself, bro, how are you this tall? And actually, with a little bit of piston magic, you can actually stretch out the player. So, I've done a little bit of that. And now, we are perfectly shaped like the Mammoth Fruit. <laughs> Now, this creation right here actually comes from AT, AT armor I made forever ago, which is, of course, from Star Wars, but we can actually reuse this for anything we want. So, you know what? The very first piece we're going to replace is this thing right here. <laughs> so, on the side, there is pretty much a huge shield with, like, spikes sticking out. So, we're going to make that first. And that right there is going to be that exact shape of the shield. All right, now, it doesn't look like much, but that right there is going to be our very first leg. Okay, now, currently... It looks a little bit derpy, but trust me, it's going to look a lot better when things are done. So I'm actually going to replace this one and every other leg with that. And you know what? I'm actually really curious to see what this is actually going to look like. So you know what? Let's just have a look. Now, I know half of this thing is still completely wrong. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, wait. It actually seems like I messed something up. <laughs> Dude, this is looking so cursed. Okay, flick the lever. Come on! Do something! Oh, oh, wait! <laughs> Wait, that is actually the mammoth fruit legs. Dude, that looks so good. Okay, now don't worry about the rest of the body being a little bit strange. Okay, we're going to get rid of all that. Now imagine if that was a mammoth on top. <laughs> then next up, it was time to build the bottom half of the leg. And lucky for me, it wasn't anything too complicated. Oh my God, dude, look at that. That right there is actually the mammoth fruit. <laughs> Now, okay, don't, don't worry about the top, okay? The top is looking still a little bit Star Wars, but dude, those legs are looking insane, dude. This is gonna be so cool. But now we have to start working on the hardest part, which is actually gonna be the top. Because yeah, the top of the actual mammoth is gonna be by far the most complicated. <laughs> oh my God, guys, look at this. This right here is like literally the mammoth fruit. Now, of course, currently, it's all torn to pieces because, dude, we got to assemble the entire thing. But currently, it's got none of the actual abilities of the mammoth fruit. And of course, we're going to have to add those. But not after I actually hide all of this very ugly stuff. <laughs> all right. That right there is already looking a little bit better. But yeah, it currently does nothing at all. So there are a couple abilities that I really want to add. And actually, the easiest one of those is going to be the double jump. Because the mammoth fruit actually has a custom one. And all I need to do is simply grab one of these. Uh, yeah, with this attached, I can simply jump as many times as I want, pretty much recreating the double jump. But the next one is gonna be a little bit more complicated because it's gonna be the Z move, okay? It's gonna be the giant destruction blast that can literally destroy anything in its path. Now, typically, this is something I would wanna do with cannons. And I mean, you could kind of do it with cannons, but there is one big problem. If I place a bunch of these right here, even if I make them invisible, you're going to be able to see these little fires and it's going to look really, really bad. So we're actually going to have to create a bit of a cluster cannon. All right. So let's see if I can actually make this work. So what I'm going to do right here, I'm going to go ahead and place myself a cannon on the end. And with this piece right here, if I clone it and rotate this, there it is. We can actually kind of create that cluster. Now, the problem is if I was to just keep it like this, as you can tell, uh, all of the invisible little fires would just be, yeah, it would look really, really bad. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put every single one of these cannons into a single block. And with a little bit of planning, as you can see, every single one of these fires is just one little dot. There we go. Now if I clone this one more time, move it back down, I can do the same thing for up and down. So yeah, we can really release a huge blast without having a bunch of fire everywhere. And it might look a little bit cursed right now, 
But that right there is actually a cluster cannon. Now, when it's invisible, as you can see, there is still some of the gunk left over, but we can definitely hide that. And when I fire this... Oh God, this is gonna be crazy. Uh, actually, you know what? I, I gotta turn off aiming. There we go. Three, two, one, go! Oh my God, I made a mistake. I forgot to turn off collision. <laughs> All right, here we go. One more time, one more time. Boom! There it is, baby. Literally hits anything in front of it. <laughs> yeah, dude, that is absolutely perfect. All right, now we got to place this perfectly. So it's got to be like at the mouth. So anything in front of it needs to have collision disabled. I think that will do. Collision off. Ooh, that might be pretty hidden. Okay, I'm going to put it up a little bit just in case oh my goodness dude you could okay, this is maybe with a little bit of glitching because there are a lot of cannons there but you could really never tell that there is like ten thousand cannons in there <laughs> you know all i need to do is add a button there you go you know what that button doesn't even look weird or anything damn okay now let's see let's check yep that is all connected to all those cannons <laughs> just to make sure i didn't mess nothing up let's press that button oh Oh, wait, I did for I did mess up. I forgot to turn off aim. Oh, that is a serious mess up. Oh my god, dude, I just did a test. It works perfectly. All right, time to get everything set up. All right, now I'm a little bit nervous, but here we go, dude. There's no... I can't wait for it. Okay, come on, here we go. Unanchor. Uh, oh, 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 okay. It looks like nothing broke. Did something break? I don't know. Did nothing... I don't know what's happening. Bro. Okay, okay, okay. All I gotta do is flick that lever right there. Okay, don't fling it away. Don't fling it away. Don't fling it away. Go on. Okay, there we go. Ah! God, now, I don't know why we're slightly tilted right now, but... Brother, that right there looks like the mammoth fruit! That looks exactly like the mammoth fruit, man! Why am I... Why am I... Why am I doing this? Oh, wait, it was something to do with the top piece. Okay, I think there's something I gotta fix real quick. All right, this might be the weirdest bug I've ever found, okay? This is all broken. Every time I move, I cannot rotate. But when I shoot myself with a harpoon... Completely fixed! So, yes, the solution to this bug is actually gonna be just... <laughs> Attaching an invisible harpoon. Okay, don't worry about this string, okay? That is the weirdest bug I've ever seen. Oh, it seems like we've got ourselves a little car right here, dude. <laughs> now, I've actually added in one secret way of destroying things. And that is one with the mammoth fruit. If you make a big jump and then land, bada boom! You crush whatever you're standing on. And this thing does the exact same thing. A crash. A crash. <laughs> there, bye bye, little car. Dude, literally nothing left of it. Also, I ended up eating a jump candy. So I can actually jump a little bit more like the actual mammoth fruit. So yeah, it's all around looking a lot better. But dude, I still haven't even tried the big button, bro. I am so excited to nuke something. <laughs> oh my God. Wait, we've got a little car right here. Should I just press the button? I'm just gonna do it! Press the button! I'm gonna boom! Dude, did this guy just get... How did he dodge every single... Oh, wait. Actually, he has a gun, too. He has a gun, too. Wait, I gotta be careful! I'm hiding behind the tree. Please! Any second now. I think I should be able to fire off again any second. Come on, right in front. Right in front. Right in front. I'm gonna boom! Oh, my God. We did so much damage there. Crash him! Crash him! Woo! Let's go! Dude, he didn't even stand a chance. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of a magic trick. I can actually also untransform, but it's a little bit permanent, okay? I gotta just, I gotta just flick that lever. How about a boom? And there it is! We've untransformed! <laughs> uh, yeah, um, I cannot put it back on. I just broke it. 